Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about the Transform Around Center plugin that is available to Club Green Sock members. The Transform Around Center plugin allows you to scale or rotate a movie clip around its center point regardless of where its registration point is. I'm going to start off by showing you a very simple implementation of this plugin, and then I'll show you how we can use it to solve a very real world problem. Now, on the stage here, you'll see that I have something called Camel MC. And this movie clip has its registration point in the top left-hand corner. It is currently set to have a scale of 50%. So I already have some code in here that is going to scale this movie clip up to a scale of 1, or 100%. Alright, so we have very basic tween-like code going on here, taking that Camel MC and scaling it up to its full size. Now, the registration point again is in the top left-hand corner, so this is where we are going to be scaling around, okay? You'll see that that top left-hand corner stays put and the image scales out down to the bottom and to the right. Well, I would much prefer that this movie clip would scale from its center. So we're going to get Transform Around Center plugin to solve our little issue right here. I don't want to have to manually edit this symbol to change its registration point if I want to just simply scale from the center. So I'm going to go over to the GreenSock Plugin Explorer. This explorer is available to you at greensock.com slash tweenlight. And you also have access to the Swift when you download the GreenSock tweening platform. Now I want to scroll down and show you that here we have Transform Around Center. And very quickly, if you are not a club member, you will need to become one in order to use this plugin. So if you just click on club here, you'll go to a page that shows you all the details and benefits of becoming a club member. So back to our plugin explorer, let's just show you a quick example of how this works. And we have a movie clip right here that has its registration point in the top left corner. If I hit the tween button, let me just slow this down a little bit and get rid of the easing. Whoops, wrong scroll and hit tween, you'll see that even though the registration point is in the top left corner, it tweens around the center. And if I do a little rotation as well, you will see that it's spinning around its center point. So I want to be able to steal the code from here and use this plugin. Now before I take this code out, I need to make perfectly clear the fact that this plugin is not activated by default. And the first thing we have to do is activate the plugin. Okay. Uh, the plugin model allows us to only activate the plugins that we need, thus saving file size. So let's go to Transform Around Center, and I'm going to click on this little checkbox, and here's the activation code. So we're importing the plugins, and then we are activating the plugins that are necessary. Okay. Now in order to copy and paste this code effectively, I found it's good to just right click and say select all, and then also do a copy. I'm going to go back into Flash. And right next to my existing actions, where I'm already importing the basic green sock classes and easing functions, I'm going to just paste my code. So we'll just do a paste. And so now we're importing plugins and we're activating the ones that we need. All right, that's the first step. Now let's go back to the plugin explorer, go to the example, and here's the code that's generated. I just want to point out that inside of the normal between variables here, we have a transform around center property, which is passing in its own property object here, where we have scale X and scale Y. So I'm just going to copy that out real quick and go back into Flash. And where I'm setting my normal scale X and scale Y properties, I'm going to get rid of those and we're going to paste in what I just copied. So now I'm saying we're going to do a transform around center and we're going to scale X and scale Y to 0.5. I really want to have this change to 1. Okay. So there we go. Those are my new values. And let's give this a shot. Test the movie out. And now you will see we are transforming around the center. The registration point is still in the top left-hand corner. But our code says, hey, ignore that and let's scale around the center. What's really cool about this plugin is that I do not have to pass in separate scale X and scale Y values. I can just pass in scale, which is really super cool. I'm going to say set the scale to 1, and now you'll see 
that that still works. So there you have it in its most basic, simplest form. Now you may be questioning, why do I need this? You know, why don't I just move the registration point? Well, whenever you are loading assets externally, they always have their registration points in the top left-hand corner. So I have an FLA set up, and I have a few blank movie clips here, okay? And this thing right here has an instance name of H3. So I have these blank holder clips. And whenever you're loading external assets, you always need to load them into something, whether you dynamically create new movie clips in code or have holders on the stage, it doesn't matter. Uh, the XY of the assets coming in is always going to be at the zero, zero point of the holder clip. So let me just test this movie out, and you'll see that four images are loading. And when I roll over them, I have some scaling going on, some very basic scaling, but you'll see obviously they're all scaling from the top left-hand corner. So I want to fix that, all right? In this file, I have some separate loading code going on. It's not really important right now, but you'll notice that in this interactivity layer here, I just have the action script that's responsible for the roll thumb over function and the thumb out. That's when you roll over and roll out. I also already have cheated and I have the import statements here for the plugins and the activation code. So instead of just doing a normal scale X1 and scale Y1 here, I'm just going to type in transform around center colon and then inside of these curly brackets, I'm going to put in the properties that I want. So let's just do a real quick scale one here, and let's just test that out. So my assets load, and now they scale up really well from the center. Okay, but you'll notice that when I roll out, they're still going to the uh, top left-hand corner, and you get some really funky jive going on here. So I just want to make sure I'm doing the same thing on the thumb out. So this is the thing that I want to copy right here, that transform around center plugin. And we're just going to paste it in right here. And I'm going to change the single scale value to 0.8. So whether I had a thousand movie clips getting, I'm sorry, images loaded or just four, uh, this is really going to help us here. All right, I don't have to programmatically offset objects around their registration point. It all works smooth as butter. All right, folks. There's Transform Around Center. Check it out. It'll save you many hours of work and frustration.